Hi, I'm Sarah from Luscombe Go Lettings, and this is going to be my final video for uh, December 2020. It's been a very difficult year for everybody, and I'm sure most of you are glad to see the end of um, 2020. And hopefully 2021 will look a little bit better. So let's start off with house prices. Well, house price growth has strengthened, and there's a record number of sales um, in progress for this time of year, which is good news. But the impact of the last nine months has seen like a year like no other. Um, it's also changed our lives significantly in how we live our lives and how we use our homes. So garden has been the most popular uh, search term uh, for people looking for houses throughout 2020. And also other things like detached, rural, secluded has also come on Zoopla's top 10 list for the uh, most search words when people are looking for properties. We've also seen that 24% of the workforce now are working from home. And then many are predicting that full time uh, back to work to the office is not uh, seen for the foreseeable future. So additional space in your home has become a priority and larger homes are becoming more popular. And it's also unpopular to have now, instead of a family having a three bed house because they've gotten that number of kids, they're looking for a four bed or five bed property. So it means they can work from home and they won't be disrupted. And also we've got children at home as well with the lockdown of the schools. So it's important that larger space, larger garden and a more rural setting so you can escape outside during any lockdown periods. Also activity across the housing market has been uh, set a new record. The number of greed sales in um, October was 50% uh, more and property selling in just 49 days, um, which is 15 days faster than a year ago, according to Rightmove. Also, HMRC have estimated there's about 105,000 transactions completed in October, the highest ever since um, March 2016, which is 8.1% year on year growth, which is great news. So despite the availability of less mortgages in the market, which I'd said in my last video, um, mortgage rates are historically low at 2.12% and demands are remaining high for these products, which is good. Um, good for anyone who's looking to borrow at the moment. But despite the resilient housing market, the Chancellor did a spending review on the 25th of November, which proved sombre reading. So the last nine months, the economy has um, shrunk by 11.3% this year, uh, with public borrowing at record highs and unemployment and anticipated to reach 2.6 million, which is 7.5% by the middle of 2021. This is the highest since the global financial crisis. So it's not really good news on the employment front. But there is continued support from the government and help and the extension of the furlough scheme till March will also help as well. So as it stands, the forecast of the economy is going to grow by 5.5% in 2021. Um, it's also predicted to grow by 6.6% in 2022. And the, it's, said, it's said that the country is set to return to pre-pandemic levels on the fourth quarter of 2022. Interest rates um, and inflation are also forecast to remain low. So what is the new year going to bring? Well, it could potentially bring a lifestyle change for a lot of people because it is possible, as people have seen during lockdown, to work from home and also save that continual travelling and daily commute to and from work, which means more time um, productively in the office and also more quality time spent with your family. Also, we've seen a larger demand for larger properties with additional space, outdoor areas, gardens, and also an extra bedroom for that home office space. So, however, there is great demand, but there is little supply, and also prices in the rental market are also rising, which is good news for landlords. So for the landlords out there, we are seeing at the moment on the ground a search in good rental properties. We're finding that within days of advertising, they're all rented. So that's good news for the rental market for 2021. But the unanswerable question is, at present, what's going to happen post-March when the furlough schemes are stopped and the mortgage interest um, holiday payments are dried up? What's going to happen then? Well, the best advice is if you can't get your property sold, then the rental market demand is strong at the moment. And if your rental property is standing empty, you've got to ask the question why, because it should be filled within days of putting on the market, because there is a huge demand at the moment. So it's important that you do do that, you get your properties rented or you get some income coming in for the new year. 
So I hope you've enjoyed these videos and I hope it's helped landlords and investors out there. And I'll post some more videos as and when we get some more updates and news for you. So thank you for watching.